celestial Sangha. As a co-creator and resident of your planet, you have the right to affect situations so that more grace and compassion unfolds in your world, even in the midst of such dire circumstances. If you are able to enter into this form of planetary service, you will sense it. And if you feel a strong calling, you are, in all likelihood, an earth protector. If you choose to work with the celestial Sangha we bow to you and celebrate the extraordinary experiences that will unfold for you as you work with this form of planetary service, for nothing will expand your consciousness quite as radically as being in service to Gaia and her unfoldment. Instructions It is imperative that you listen to this sound piece with stereo headphones or earbuds. The reason has to do with complex waveforms that interconnect and without listening with full stereo separation via headphones or earbuds it would be challenging to make sense of the auditory input. Also, do not listen to this in situations requiring alertness. The primary purpose of this sound meditation is to accelerate your own ascension process. And as such, it should be entered into with sobriety and not idle curiosity. To undertake this form of energy work is nothing less than a radical up-leveling of your embodied form. Furthermore, this spiritual light also flows into the meridian system, the body's network of subtle energy pathways that circulate qi through the body's organs and systems. And finally, the sound meditation activates the body's most subtle energy pathways known as nadis, which hold the keys to expansive states of body and mind. This is inner alchemy at one of its most profound levels as it transforms and elevates the subtle energies of your very life force and opens a foyer into the exquisite mysteries of your own body slash mind slash spirit complex. The sound meditation can be viewed as a means to enter into a conscious relationship with your own embodied form as a living light being. If you work with this on a regular and consistent basis, you will find that the spiritual light generated from the sound meditation flows throughout your body's atomic, molecular and cellular structures. And there will be increased episodes of perceived light. The more intently and regularly you work with the sound meditation the more rapid your unfoldment will be. There are three primary areas of focus, your crown chakra where a clear crystal sphere hovers above your head and emanates a constant stream of coherent and transformational light. Its color is silvery white, like the light of the full moon. They hold the subtle imprint or template of your divine self in embodied form. Activation of the eight immortals is one of the effects of working with this sound meditation. The third and final area of focus is your secret channel, or pranic tube that runs from your crown down through the center of your body to the perineum. This subtle channel is the central axis of your body's electromagnetic field, and it is a conduit for subtle energies. By placing your awareness at your crown and the eight immortals at your perineum, the spiritual light that is emanated from the sphere at your crown descends and flows through the secret channel and down into the perineum area. As the pranic tube fills with slivery white light, the light spontaneously flows into your body's nerve and subtle energy pathways. Tom's Comments About halfway through taking down this message, both Judy and I heard a woodpecker pecking at the side of our house repeatedly and with great emphasis. Inam, my main Hathor mentor, said that the bird was a messenger, and he was simply emphasizing the importance of this information for the animal kingdom. And then when the Hathors got to the point where they explained the force of change that is upon us, the wind suddenly kicked up. From a shamanic perspective these were not just interesting coincidences but rather a manifestation of a link between the Hathors as light beings, the human and animal kingdoms as well as the air element, which is connected to rapid transformation or change, the mechanics of the sound meditation. As the light flows into your central channel from the sphere of white light at your crown and down to your perineum, the flow of light can take many forms including, but not limited to the sensation of liquid light streaming into your tissues and organs or pulsations of light that pulse from your secret channel and travel throughout your body. And in some instances, the light inside the channel may generate kriyas, movements of the physical body, such as rocking back and forth, hands moving or holding mudras, and or spinning around the magnetic axis of your body. If this occurs, 
just relax into the movements knowing that they are positive developments as they are a means for your body to release limited and restrictive energy patterns. There is an important point to remember when engaging this practice, the potency of spiritual light. Due to its nature, this form of light transforms whatever it touches. Thus, when you work with this sound meditation, you may experience, from time to time, a detoxifying effect. If you start experiencing too many negative emotions or thought patterns, back off from listening. Put more space between sessions. And if your discomfort is too much, stop altogether for a while. Please, please pace yourself intelligently so that you do not become overwhelmed by the onslaught of negative thoughts and feelings, as well as physical toxins, that might be extruded from you as you move into higher vibratory levels, spiritually speaking. You may find an article, called Psycho-Spiritual Detoxification, of some help in this regard. The Statement of Intent this is the first Hathor message where a sound meditation is preceded by a statement of intent. When I asked them about this, they said that ascension is an ever constantly expanding field of perception from which various spiritual powers blossom and develop. Furthermore, when the statement of intent is engaged with clarity and sincerity, a subtle yet powerful force is released within the body slash mind slash spirit of the one making the statement. One of the fundamental spiritual powers, upon which the higher expressions of ascension are predicated, is the development of non-localized awareness that transcends both time and space. The agency responsible for this is your own innate multidimensional mind, began. Furthermore, the Hathors also contend that when we speak the words of intent, either silently or out loud, we engage a cosmic energetic loop that can positively affect other beings. And this will set a vibratory field into motion that not only benefits other beings but also us because we are all connected, whether we like it or not, to the web of life. You do not need to engage the statement of intent for the mediation to be effective, but if you experiment with this you may find that your awareness starts to expand in remarkable ways. This is the statement of intent as given by the Hathors. For my own elevation and for the elevation of all life, May the benevolent energies of this meditation extend to all beings throughout the multiverse. Note that this extends to all beings throughout the multiverse. This applies to all beings whether embodied or non-corporeal wherever they may reside within the vastness of the cosmos including other universes and dimensions of consciousness. The Hathor suggests that you rest with your eyes closed for a few minutes after each listening session so that you can integrate your experiences. I have found this advice to be most helpful especially if the listening session was energetically intense. The basic sound meditation is 520 minutes and you can hit repeat if you wish to work with a longer session. I was personally so affected by the core meditation I created a longer version for myself for the purposes of psycho-navigation and to have more time to explore the fascinating interactions between spiritual light and my physical body. Channel. Tom Kenyon